Okay, so in the last section, we have looked at how to make the changes to your project to integrate with Sonar with adding a couple of plugins and some changes to your settings.xml. So let's go ahead and actually comment the changes that we did. Let's create the release branch and then let's make sure we can build from the release branch on Jenkins and we'll continue with integrating Jenkins with Sonar Cube. So let me head over to my SCS. Let's go to the terminal here. Let's go ahead and commit and I'm going to say Sonar integration changes. And let's go ahead and push to develop. So in this um, step, we actually didn't create a feature branch because this was a pretty straightforward change. We didn't want to go through the overhead of creating a feature branch and then doing a merge request and all of that. And something like this, which is a one-time change, um, you're okay to do that, right? So the change has been pushed. And let's head over to the source tree. And let me just expand this here. And let's go ahead and actually create a release branch for our project, right? So let's head over to Git Flow. And we're going to call this new release. We'll say Sonar integration, right? And it's going to be from the latest development branch. So if you notice, we have our release branches out here. Let's head over to DevOps, right? We have all of these release branches. Um, we have named them differently, but that's fine. But in this case, we're going to say Sonar integration. Let's go ahead and to commit. And it's saying that there was an existing um, release in the past that um, wasn't closed. So let's actually just head over there first. And I'm going to actually, this has been already pushed. So it's basically saying that I cannot start a git flow. I'm going to just, I don't want to delete remote branch. I just want to delete the local branch, right? So once that's done, let's go ahead and Try the same thing again, and I'm going to do sonar integration, right? Okay, and it's going to take the cut from the develop branch. Okay, so now we have the sonar integration branch. Let's go ahead and actually push. We want to push the new branch, right? And it's a release branch. We already did develop, but that's fine. Just going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So let's head over to our Git. Make sure we do see the change. And I do see the release of Sonar integration. So what's the first step that we do once we create a release branch, right? I think we should be familiar by now. The first thing that we do once the release branch is created is bump up the version in the develop branch, right? So I, I was on release branch here. Let me head over here, do a status, and I'm going to say check out develop and back into my SDS. I'm going to bump this up to 1.5.0 right and status get push origin before we push we need to do the comment preparing for next iteration right and then get push origin develop right so we have created the release branch and we have upgraded the develop branch and um, we are ready to build from our release branch.
So in order to do that, there's a couple of additional things that we need to do in order to set up Jenkins to talk to Sonar. And in the next section, we are going to actually take a look at getting that set up.